Hey folks, welcome back to Regen Nation. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. It's been a minute. Yes, it's been the whole entire summer. You know what? There hasn't been a relatively important or significant enough update to our cars for months that I haven't made a video. But I also wanted to make a video to let you guys know that I'm still around. I haven't uh, died at a bad carnival ride or anything like that. So, you know, summer and busyness and faminess and... Uh, other stuff gets in the way. So I apologize, but I'm back. I'm going to make you a quick video here with our newest release that, like I said, uh, this one is significant. The other ones I didn't find were, so I didn't really make videos for it. But this one is. This is 2025.32.3. This is the latest update. It comes to all cars. It's rolling out now. If you're watching this, you may have it or you'll be getting it shortly after you watch this. It brings some cool features. It, I know it says minor fixes because this is a 0.3 update, but if you go to the 2025.32 update itself, this is what comes in. And remember, this is a 2022 Model Y with the um, AMD chip. So some things are available in this, some things aren't. And I'll tell you, I'll go through the whole thing. So the most important thing right now, it looks like, is low power mode. So Tesla describes that as low power mode conserves energy while your vehicle is parked, by disabling features that draw power. You can turn it on manually anytime for extended parking or configure the battery percentage for automatic activation. So basically, they, Tesla's now once again uh, giving you an added feature. We've always had low power mode, but they're now allowing you to uh, control it yourself. They're basically taking the training wheels off it, for lack of a better word, and allowing you to do it. So if you go down here, you see the uh, blue dot, uh, which signifies that it's a, a new update, something new. So we click on the settings. You see charging has a blue dot. You go to charging and you scroll down here. Low power mode. It says new. It's got a little uh, new uh, sticker next to it. Disables energy consuming features when you are not in the vehicle. So you can turn it on. And I'll give you a little uh, preamble splash screen before you, you click yes. It says, features will be turned off to conserve energy. Cabin overheat protection, keep accessory power on, and summon standby. While in low power mode, your vehicle continues to use energy for standby functions, such as screen activities and Tesla app interactions. In cold weather, available energy may drop more quickly. Do you want to enable power mode? Oh, of course we do. So we put it on and it goes on automatically. It goes on when you do it. And now what uh, it enables us to do, it, it enables us to choose. It used to be a default 20% and you couldn't change it. Now you can go all the way down to 10%. So if you thought like me that 20% was maybe a little bit too high, you can choose 10. You can choose 15. I think I'll keep mine at 15. And now low power mode won't come on till 15. Rumor has it, what Tesla's probably going to do from what the rumors are saying is you'll be able to have like a list and you'll be able to toggle them on or off. Like how you saw those three things listed there, you'll be able to toggle them on or off. So you can have two or three of them coming on or off uh, in low power mode and you'll be able to get down nitty gritty into the settings and choose which, and customize which things you want. So that is low power mode. The next thing and now in my car it just says minor updates. So one of the things now is you can um, now set your dog mode to a minimum temperature of 18 degrees. Before dog mode, once again, was just it came on. I think it was at 20 degrees or 21 degrees. I forget, I forget what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, but now you can put it to anything. Well, not anything. You can go down to 18. I guess people complained that dog mode was uh, too warm for some, for some people. So now you can go to dog mode. Oh, I got to turn off. Okay. You can only go to dog mode here. Let me show you. You can only go to dog mode when low power mode is off for some weird reason. So you turn it off. Now you can go to dog mode. And as you can see, it says dog mode's on. It says 20.5. You can raise it all the way to 23 or you can put it all the way down to 18. Uh, I hardly ever have the dog in there and I hardly ever use dog mode. So let's just, let's just, say that it's off but that's that's it you can go from 23 degrees down to 18 degrees which once again Tesla's giving you more more features um one of the big updates that if you have a newer model y or model 3 is rave cave now remembers your settings if enabled it will turn 
up the vibes automatically upon shifting into park. So that's going to be in the toy box for um, new Model 3s and Model Ys. Uh, what is a big safety feature, and I'm not sure if it's documented, maybe I just don't have it in my car because it says some model wise in 2022. Basically, it's frontal airbag system enhancement. Now, this is genius what Tesla did. This upgrade builds upon your vehicle's superior crash protection by now using Tesla Vision to help offer some of the most cutting edge airbag performance in the event of a frontal crash. Building on top regulatory and industry crash testing, this release enables front airbags to begin to inflate and restrain occupants earlier in a way that only Tesla's integrated systems are capable of doing, making your car safer over time. Safer over time. So it does say that this, this is available only on 2023 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles, but also includes some 2022 model year cars. So because I didn't see it here, I think uh, it doesn't have it in my car. I'm not sure why, probably the, probably the camera settings. But um, it's too bad. Uh, but if you've got a, a 2022 that does have it, good for you. Um, or if you have a 2023 or newer, that's a good feature to have. Some other minor updates. It just says this update includes important security fixes and improvements. Minor fixes and performance enhancements have been applied. But from our friends at Not A Test App, they say that estimated battery range now incorporates additional characteristics related to battery aging legacy model s and model x cars so like i was saying if you got one of the newer cars you've got a feature but also if you have one of the older cars you have a feature too and that's it folks that's what we have for 2025.32.3 update like i said i thought it was uh had some good features on it and i thought i'd make a video anyways if you notice some other features that i haven't talked about or anything like that let me know down in the comments below and if not we'll catch you on the next one take care folks Bye bye